make a, made a, I've made a few changes. Um, I still haven't got the copper to do the steam um, coil for the back section here, so I haven't got the copper. So I've got the tacker, and now I can actually test the uh, revs that the machine is doing. I've removed the impeller, so I now have just a shaft with a mark on it which I can test the tacko on. Once I've tested the tacko, I've just set up this very small, it's only a picker motor, and just made that to go onto the turbo housing the output, driving the 8mm socket there. Um, fairly fairly yeah, rough, uh, with a number of LEDs on here, just to see if we're getting um, a little bit of output from it. I've remounted the oil tank to get it um, just below the height of the um, uh, output of the uh, oil and I've set up a little 12 volt pump to circulate the oil in the, in the turbo itself. If I've got the housing off and I'll be able to see with the TACO what sort of revs that the actual thing is putting out, see so if there's improvements or, just, or it gets better or worse. But this will be able to see if it's going to create some of the energy, which I'm ho hopefully it will, it should. Um, just I don't know what sort of revs I've got because I found the, one of the issues I had before was I had this turbo has two positions, it's got variable vanes, I had it in the locked position, basically I had it locked in one position, the position I had it in locked in was pretty well closed off so there wasn't getting much air through the vanes at all, that's why it was pretty atrocious. Um, so hopefully now we'll be able to get some um, power out of it.